I really enjoy my friends standing here with me. Just can't explain it. That's what Vagabond was built for. Well, well, well. Look who's here. My friends Frank and Tammy are here. I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a new mattress for your home or RV? Brooklyn Bedding has many sizes to fit most. You get a 120 night sleep trial and free shipping. Best of all, they're made right down here in Phoenix, Arizona. So uh, go to <clears throat> rvmattress.com slash campervan kevin. Use the coupon code campervan kevin to get 25% off your purchase. Stay tuned uh, for a Memorial Day sale coming up later on in the month. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> Me, I'm real good. My friends Frank and Tammy, that's been staying down at Apache Junction at Superstition Mountain. Uh, they've come up to stay with me for the summer. Uh, he's got a big 40 foot, 45 foot holiday rambler. Uh, he's added a, uh, a new enclosed trailer, truck, side by sides, motorcycles. It's gonna get kind of tight here at Vagabond. Just moved the uh, purples faster and uh, I'm gonna move Littlefoot here to give to give him the most room possible so he can turn around and set up however he wants to. And at least my stuff will be out of the way as much as it can be. Over here by purple's faster, I think I can get out of the way. Tight, 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 tight. There's that beautiful rig. Imperial by Holiday Rambler. Frank used to be a truck driver, so it's nothing to him to drive that. And this. Woo! I want to stay out of the way and let him figure it out. He's going to back it up. He's going to hang that much off of the, the end of the pad over here, I believe is the plan. I sure am glad they're back. I've missed them. It was too cold in the wintertime up here for them, so they went down. They love that Superstition Mountain. They'll get it. Well, it's been a few days since my friends Frank and Tammy got set up here at uh, Vagabond. Let me show you a little bit of their camp. I'm not sure if I showed the babies yet. Yep, yep. Just made the bed. Got some pillows here I'm going to wash. That baby May Mays. The Tuckster. Martini Lynn. Sometimes I forget to show them when people get angry. But Frank was able to get that Holiday Rambler in here. Got his truck. Got the Holiday Rambler. He's got the best view over there. He's made us a nice place to sit out on the other side of his RV. He's got his uh, trailer in here he hauls his uh, side by side with. So, uh, yeah. They ended up fitting great. So I look forward to them to spending, I look forward to them spending their summer with me. Nothing better than having good friends. 
Hey everybody, it's been a few uh, minutes from my last clip. Went down, got my mail, and uh, sat down there a minute. Came back up here to the house. Pulled up here beside Frank and Tammy's side by side and Holiday Rambler. Beautiful sunny day. But y'all won't believe what I just uh, had happen. Just got a letter from Geico. And if you guys have followed me for any amount of time, you know that I'm not one to put businesses down, call businesses out. I tell people I have trouble and uh, just don't see any need in taking it any further. But uh, this got me right here. You know what I mean? So I've been with Geico for several years now. I hadn't had any issues with the company. I really like the phone app. I even like Little Gecko. Uh, I insured three vehicles. Tucker, what are you panting for, buddy? I insured three vehicles with them. My van, both Geo Trackers, a KLR 650, and a Monkey 125. So it's not like I just got one car or, or anything. I, I think I'm a pretty good customer. But I just got this letter. Y'all take a look at this. So you don't need my, you don't need my address. You don't need the policy number, but I got this letter from their underwriting team. We'd like to thank you for choosing Geico for your insurance needs. After careful review of your policy records, we have determined that we are unable to continue insurance coverage with Geico. We've taken this action for the following reasons. Your failure to provide requested underwriting information, information, needed to properly rate this policy. All right, Geico's uh, defense, maybe. I hadn't seen a letter. But with this letter, they sent me a vehicle location questionnaire and description of this, description of that, pretty normal stuff. If they sent me one, I hadn't seen it. This is the first one. So, uh, yeah, there's that. What I haven't told you is that um, I have no points on my license. I have no uh, violations, um, no speeding tickets. I mean, I might get one tomorrow, but I hadn't, I hadn't had one in decades that I can think of. Um, my bank gives me a credit score once a week, once a month where I can look at it uh, on the phone with my with my banking app and my I believe it was 832 okay I'm not bragging these are just facts you need to know I own all my vehicles outright I own my place here outright so uh, I don't consider myself a, a high risk uh, to the company I'm more than willing to give them this information um, they've got my social security number, they got my driver's license, you know, just normal stuff. Here we go. We may be able to continue the policy if you provide two forms of residence. Okay, well, it's on my driver's license. Um, now, I did call them down there when, at, at the mailbox. Um, electric bill. Uh... Any kind of, I've got several letters. It, it's, it's not a problem. I don't mind giving a, a copy of my electric bill to prove that I live here. Here's my problem. We may be able to continue your policy if you provide two forms of proof of residence for all drivers, registered owners of the vehicles. One must be bank statements showing three months of transactions, no exceptions. Uh, in the other questionnaire by June 17th. If you decline the offers outlined above, we urge you to obtain other insurance prior to June, June 17th. Say what? You want what? Surely this is a mistake. I call up Geico. Mm-mm. No mistake. 
asked to uh, speak with the uh, underwriting department. And the lady that wrote me the uh, letter had a telephone number here beside her name. Uh-uh. You can't talk to them. What? I told the lady on the phone, I said, listen, this ain't nothing personal between me and you. You've been real nice, helpful, friendly, professional, all that. Uh, so when I tell you this, I'm not attacking you, okay? Oh, okay. I'm just talking business to you. Oh, okay. I understand, Mr. Applin. Who do you think you are? Excuse me? Who do you think you are? Y'all are a car insurance company. Why would you need my bank records? Well, we need to see if you spend your money you know, local or something along those lines. If, just to verify your residency. I said, I got plenty of proof of residency. Well, you can, uh, you can mark out all the sensitive information. All of my banking records are sensitive information. When I was married, all my business checking and all that, I didn't even show it to my wife. It was on a need-to-know basis, and she didn't need to know. I had my business 20 years before we met. I take care of my own business. Bills are paid. You know, if the, if the law wants that information, they got to go before a judge, and a judge has to sit there and say, hmm, okay, I think y'all can have it. He has to sign off on it. You think I'm just going to give it to you? Every bit of my banking information is private. It's all sensitive information. So I can just take two or three blank pieces of paper, and I can color them black with my pen. Can't get to the right people. I don't know who these people think they are. Maybe you can enlighten me. Maybe that's how business is done now. Not the way I do business. Not the way I'm going to do business. Not the way I'm ever going to do business. I want to march right up here to show though. I'm going to find a brick and mortar building. I'm going to go in and I'm going to hire me an insurance agent. And I'm going to tell him this little story. And I'm willing to give him driver's license, social security number, uh, light bill. You know what? I'll go pick him up, put him in my uh, car seat over here. I'll drive him up here. I have no problem. But if they ask me for, for three months, two months, one month, of my bank statements, well, they can stick it in an orifice where the sun don't shine. Well, Kevin, that's not that's not a nice way to be. That's how I feel. And if that's the way they, uh, this company wants to do business, I just not I'm not going to I'm not going to put up with it. I don't think anybody should have to put up with it. But if you guys doubt me, there it is. And I called to make sure there wasn't some crazy mistake. I think I've reshot this video several times. I went 20 minutes last time. <laughs> so, uh, Geico. Bye. You're not the only game in town. Who do you think you are? Ain't happening. All right. If I don't stop now, this video is going to be as long as the other two I recorded. So I'm going to end it. Where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, 
He's my Lord and Savior. Well, Kevin, that wasn't a very Christian-like thing to say. I never claimed to be perfect. I'm a heavily flawed individual. But my business is my business, and that's where it's going to stay. At least my banking business, for sure. If if uh, my banking, if my beacon score don't get it, tough. I'll have me a new insurance company post haste. Is that the right word? I think so. All right, I got to go. Bye.